What up? What up? What up, Night Nation? This your boy, Stevie Knight. Bot to get on one of these things. You feel me? What's good with the watch? Night watch. Man, uh, we got some some things to figure out. <laughs> we got some work to do, bro. We got ourselves a doozy, man. Um, as we all know, the death of Slim Shady dropped. And we are currently running through the whole thing on the Patreon. Night watch. Um, in order. In order. Uh, if you're interested, pull up Night Watch Patreon. Link for that. Description box below. Only one dollar. Limited time only. One one dollar. But um, I'm needing to skip ahead and address the whole Candace Owens situation. Right. Uh, I'm very aware of the shots Eminem fired because we did the Eminem listening party yesterday, bro. Um, but turns out that Candace Owens made a whole video uh, about the things. Marshall said in the record, and uh, we about to address it now. Uh, speaking of that, man, like when I first heard the shots that M was taking, I was taken aback. I'm like, bro, why are you taking shots at Candace, bro? Bragging up like uh, he's giving Candace Owens smoke, bro. Ah, oh, man, I fuck with Candace, dog. Come on, Slim. Come on, Marshall. Damn, bro, don't be wasting no bars on Candace, bro. God damn. Damn. It's the fucking elevator in my mix. Damn, Candace Owens bars, bro. God damn, the lip tar it came out, man. Put that motherfucker back away, man. Fuck. I have to walk like half a block to get a can of coke. Oh, 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 yeah. oh you're right, 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 you're right. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Because I gave Candace smoke for, she said some bullshit about some, okay, I'll take it back. I take it back. Oh, I forgot that quick. I forgot that quick, bruh. But, uh, thanks to y'all. Y'all jogged my memory in the, uh, in the chat. And she was talking big sh about Eminem few months back. I did a whole video about it, bro. Like, she was talking big shit. And he's getting older. He's getting older, and he's not quite able to read the room. Sometimes grandpa needs to sit down. When you get into that phase where sometimes it seems you don't even know your own brand. You don't even know who you are anymore. This has kind of been the circumstance with Eminem. He is definitely, I would say, deteriorating with age. He doesn't seem to like, what's his brand? recognize what his own base is. What's his brand? And the biggest indication of this was when he did plausibly the cringiest thing he has ever done in 2017, after Trump won the White House, Trump supporters, Trump voters, when you think of them, you would definitely think they know an Eminem song or two, but Eminem didn't recognize that at all. Instead, he decided to do a super hard thug video to show that he was supporting the black community against Trump, and here it is, do your best not to cringe, take a listen. But we better give Obama- yeah, This is whack. This is pretty whack. And I, I, I rock with Candace now, bro. This is a whack ass take. So for the fact that I, I have a bunch of Trump supporters and and Republicans that are my fans, I can't voice my political stance and what I do best. Eminem doesn't need to pander to anybody. Either you f with him or you don't. As far as me and anybody takes this stance, though, I respect it because you're not pandering. You're not pandering. You're not about money. It's about something you believe in and you convicted in. Whether whether or not I agree with your take on it, there's nothing wrong in, with you doing that. And what would be fake is him pandering to those saying things he really don't believe in. And what Kenneth just did is generalize a bunch of white folk. So since Eminem got a bunch of white fans, they must be Trump supporters, right? All right. <laughs> All right. That's pretty That's pretty racist, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I often agree with Candace, bro. That shit was whack as fuck. You know what I'm saying? You got to call a spade a spade. And he, he took shots of her again at uh bad ones, too. You feel me? Maybe she's going to address both of them. But um, we're not going to do both of them, breakers, dog. Bad ones is fucking fire, bro. Lucifer is hard, bro. Like, I wanted, I, so I wanted to hold off on this shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and fluff this damn album out more, bro. But we got to strike while the iron is hot. You know what I'm saying? And Candace, I'm assuming she's talking big shit now. So we got we to tap in now, bro. Anyway, uh, before we tap in, man, make sure y'all pull up the shop, stevenknight.com. You know what I'm saying? Merch. Link for that. Description box below as well, man. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, like I say, peep me. Peep my uh, Patreon if you want to get down on the album review. Um, we definitely posting this, bro. So I already know that we're not going to 
be covering the entire song on the YouTube video. It, it, it will be ready for your consumption on the Patreon with the song, with the video played in full, including all the music on the Patreon for the free ski, bro. I'm just trying to get around this copyright shit that uh, YouTube is throwing on us, dog. So, you know, I got to do what I got to do. I'm probably going to split this into two separate videos, too, just in case I get copyrighted, dog. So, we'll see. Um, But, yeah, let's get into Lucifer, dog. <laughs> Lucifer goes crazy. Lucifer goes hard, bro. And we just did. <laughs> it's like we popping off with like the 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 most banging ones, bro. <laughs> we we go we getting straight to the fucking nut. We ain't doing no fluffy, no foreplay at all, bro. We just got there busting their wide open, bro. And Andy Christ. Now we doing Lucifer. Fuck it. Let's get it, dog. The coup de grace is the final shot, right between the eyes. I remember that. Also known. <laughs> Mm. The, mm. the beat vicious vicious hold on let me turn this bitch up in my headphones dog we about to, we about to enjoy this man oh speaking of that i i i uh i uh I, I didn't know that marshall produced antichrist dog that's got to be top five one of m's most vicious beats bro <laughs> he went crazy on that motherfucker dog but this shit sound like a dre beat if marshall did this one too bro <sighs> This sound like a Dre beat though. Before I get banned, kicked off Twitter and TikTok, cause they so damn ticked off bitter. We just got rid of Yay, go kick rocks with him. We just got rid of what? I need the lyric. Oh, we just got rid of Yay, go kick rocks with him. All right. Okay, all right, all right. Coup de grace is the final shot right between the eyes. But Dre on beats with the white face, blondie on the mic. I'd be fire if uh, Marshall was to bl uh, dye his hair blonde too. <laughs> do it, motherfucker, do it. Like we rap and did a little bank robbery on the side, so they want beef. We can make like Bonnie and Collide. Do I need to break that down? Bonnie and Collide, Collide, but Bonnie and Collide. That's what they did. They robbed motherfuckers. Trump chain, let's get it. But mom, do I still act eight? Uh, maybe a little Debbie, uh, like a snack cake. I remember them. Do they still make little Debbies? I used to smack them all about our little boy. Little Debbie Cakes. You know what I mean? That's hard, bro. Let's get into it, though. But if this is what he do to his mom, imagine what he do to you. What did he do to his mom? Hold on. Because yeah. he said, imagine. But if it's what he would do to his mom, like, he ain't do nothing to his mom in that bar. I thought I'd miss some other shit he put down, but he ain't say nothing disrespectful. You saying I act like a little boy? You call me a little boy? Or do I still act like a little boy? I'm 51 years old, motherfucker. I guess he's saying if I got, if I got smoke with my mom, then... Of course, I'm gonna have smoke with you or anybody. Fucking cancel culture, censor ass bitches. Oh, he called her a slut. <laughs> I ain't even catch that, bro. Hold on, where where he is? Where he said that? He called the mama a slut. Like a snack cake. And if it's you, I used to clip on for you to respond. It's ludicrous, ma. Look at what you you to respond. Fire it up. That shit plays right back. It plays into uh the scene that they created to market the album with the mama. Farting out the little devil kid. <laughs> Literally spawning out a goddamn devil, Lucifer. About heaven when it was up for sale. And now I need a refund, baby. Yeah. What? What? Must be a cold day in hell. Tell me what have we done? Take me out my misery. I bought heaven when it was up for sale. And now I need a refund. <laughs> I didn't even catch the hook the first time. I think someone messed my meds. Probably I bet it's my ex Molly that I've legend to death already. <sighs> Bro, this whole scene is fire, dog. I think someone messed with my meds. Like, he didn't have to fucking make this shit silly like this, bro. Like, silly meaning it's much more in-depth than what it needs to be, bro. It's like fucking my brain up just reading what the fuck he just did. I think someone messed with my meds. But he made that a double. Like, he's talking about his meds being messed with, the actual meds being messed with, and the person that actually messed with the meds. They, they, they messed with my ex, my ecstasy, my molly, <laughs> or my ex girlfriend molly who i just bludgeoned to death he said that the head i smell the fresh and the flesh riding so it's breakfast in bed if i wake up next to a dead body like he rapping rapping in this fucking little psychotic scene dog already severed the head i smell the fresh scent of flesh riding so it's breakfast in bed if i wake up next to a dead body that's 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 right out of relapse dog 
That's right at a relapse. I smell the fresh scent of flesh rotting, so it's breakfast in bed. I'm about to, I'm on some cannibalism shit. Multiple lacerations, contusions, abrasions, bruises, hallucinations, delusions, abusive, my language use. Multiple lacerations, contusions, abrasions, bruises, hallucinations, delusions, abuse. My, hold on, let me say, let me try this, let me try this. I, 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 I. Multiple lacerations, contusions, abrasions, bruises, hallucinations, delusions, abusive, my language usage. <laughs> yeah, dog. One more time. Multiple lacerations, contusions, abrasions, bruises, hallucinations, delusions, abusive, my language usage. That's fire, dawg. They lose it when Dre produced it. As soon as he plays the music, it's lunacy. Treat the beat like a choice. Shady, just choose it. This shit is so hard, dawg. This shit is so hard, bro. Now all I see is dollar signs, losers. Bitch, I was in them trenches like them Columbine shooters. All I see is them dollar signs, losers. Because I was in the trenches like them Columbine shooters. Nasty, slim, shady, double right there. I've been in the trenches grinding for this rap shit. That's why I see these dollar signs, bro. But I'm still in my murderous shit, motherfucker. On some mass murdering shit, bro. Come on, man. Come on, dog. I forgot. I, I just remember why I'm here, dog. <laughs> I forgot that we're here because of Candace, bro. Yeah. Let's do it. Damn, Candace, so I ain't mad at her. I ain't gonna throw the fact bitch forgot she was black back at her. All right. Okay. 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 All right. So I got some thoughts here. Cause Candace put Shady in a, a weird, not weird, bro. Because that's literally how Eminem feels about Candace, dog. It's a weird situation, bro. Because I wish she would have just went on some Slim Shady shit and just said the most grotesque shit and just like, ah, bitch, I'll kill you. I'll cut your fucking head off on some Slim Shady shit, bro. Like really getting her ass, bro. He took the political stance. And like I say, to me, it just makes him look like a liberal black democrat that's been brainwashed to look at things a certain way so i don't really like what he said up until the point where he said i'm gonna be nice because i'm trying to fuck i like that i like that bro i don't agree with his take on candace and i wish i did and i wish this shit would have hit harder because candace was deserving of like some of like the utmost disrespect from the dumb shit she was saying about Marshall, bro, because she did not know what the fuck she's talking about. Like, she so clearly missed the mark and had this whole political agenda with her take on Eminem. So I, I, I rewatched the video to refresh my memory and everything, dog. And she pretty much just said all of Eminem's fans are white MAGA Trump supporters, and he doesn't know his fan base and he's old and he's tired and his shit don't pop no more. All this bullshit out her mouth, bro. Like he has some Trump supporters, but all, every white fan that Eminem has is not a Trump, a white Trump supporter, bro. So she she was like clearly wrong. And but then she's made herself look stupid as fuck, thinking that this man ain't got it no more. His music ain't shit no more. When I don't know what you're gonna say about this, but but I mean. You see what Houdini doing, but she just she was she clearly was like out of her league as far as the conversation was concerned, bro. So I just wish like these are these are shots at Candace, but I just wish she would have just cut her fucking head off, dog. This ain't nothing, bro. Like when she, I know what she's gonna say when she listens to that shit. She gonna tear that shit apart. Because she gonna I, I bet she gonna say the same shit I'm saying right now. Like, bro, you gotta twist it. Like I fuck with the black people and I wanna help black people, bro. That's just y'all that don't like the shit. I be saying because y'all get emotional about what the fuck I be saying, but I be spitting facts. But emotion don't like facts, especially with the black community, right? She gonna she gonna she gonna slice that shit up, bro. So it's like, damn, dog. I already know what I already know what type of time it is, man. Fuck. She turned her back on black people. She the KKK Grand Wizard shit, like, bro. That's not that's not her at all, bro. She a MAGA supporter, but ain't nothing wrong with being a fucking MAGA supporter, dog. Um, but this just this shit is this attack is whack, bro. He could have did so. He could have been so much more disrespectful, bro. This ain't Slim Shady, bro. This is Marshall Mathers rapping. Slim Shady would have been like, "Fuck that bitch. I'll rape her in her mouth. I'll kill her fucking husband." I, he would have been on some, on some type of time like that, and I wish he would have done that. Laugh at her like them crackers. She's back and after her back is turned. I remember when I first heard him say that. He said like them, them, them crackers that are backing her. You know what I mean, and to hear M say that, it's like weird. To hear it sounds, it's, it's just, it's weird. You know what I mean, like, bro, you white, so you disrespecting your kind. That's like me saying, that's like me 
man, I hate taking this position now, bro. Like, fuck, I'm like stuck between a rock and a hard place, bro. I'm on Marshall's side, clearly. I just, I just hate this attack. But him saying like them crackers that back her is like me talking, uh, talking shit to I don't know who a white girl. I don't know some white girl in the same position as Candace who has black support and me saying like them N-I-G-G-E-Rs that support her. Like, it just sounds weird. You know what I mean? It's like you're going against your people. You feel me? My shit is like taking Deborah Mathers out of work. That whole shit was him patching things up with his mama, right? You said, my shit's like taking Deborah Mathers at her word. Mama was sick. You saying, my shit's sick. Mama's sick. Munchausen syndrome, trying to lie to me to keep me sick. But then we squashed the beef like a gigant, like a gigantic turd because I put that shit to bed. I put the beef to bed, but Amber Heard, Amber Heard put the shit in the bed. <laughs> Amber Heard put the shit in the bed. Um, yeah, he's stupid, bro. He's stupid. Beef like a hamburger patty, or should I say gigantic turd? Cause I put that shit to bed like Amber Heard at a mattress firm. Yeah, I put that shit to bed like Amber Heard at a mattress firm. He's stupid. He's stupid as fuck. They made me eat shit, shit. I fed it back to him three times. Yeah. Stepfather's the only one I ever been beat by. Stepfather is the only one I've been beat by, bro. <laughs> Censorship ain't beating me. <laughs> couldn't y'all motherfuckers could never, <laughs> never. You reap what you sow, so what? So first I must weep rhymes, yeah. So seamlessly, then I'ma leave eyes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta, we gotta finish that up, cause a lot of part of that shit I ain't get. He said, uh, they made me eat shit. I fed it back to him three times. The father's the only one I ever been beat by. Squeeze mics like Burmese pie thorns. Here's for each time you sleep on the floor. Ho, you hear these strings climb. You reap what you sow. So first I must weave rhymes. <sighs> so seamlessly, then I'm going to leave eyes in a state of disbelief. My genius is straight. So the gaps in our G... <laughs> Yeah, bro. I, I I was trying to put it together when I heard it, bro. He went crazy with the whole sewing gene scheme, bro. You reap what you sow. So I must weave rhymes. So weave, reap the rhymes. So seamlessly, then I'ma leave eyes, leave eyes, leave eye jeans in a state of disbelief. My genius is a trait. My gene is a trait. So the gaps in our jeans, gap jeans, the clothing brand gap, but then jeans, the jeans within you, but you still playing on the whole little jean scheme. Genius is a trait. So the gaps are not jeans. At least that's what it seems like. And I'm Lucifer and Trace, the producer for the Antichrist. Yeah, dog. Yeah. He went crazy, bro. Um, but this motherfucker got me working, bro. This motherfucker got me working, dog. This shit's so lit, though, bro. Um, yeah, Lucifer, bro. So, um, Fire Track did his thing. One of my favorites on the fucking album. Let me let me know y'all thoughts about it. Let me know y'all thoughts about the whole Candace Owens situation. I'm gonna end this shit here. Do a hold on, do a hold on the video, bro, because we fucking 25, 30 minutes in this bitch now, man. So, hopefully you fuck with it. You fuck with that. Fuck with this. Like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? We out here grinding, grow, growing the ground. All the goddamn time. Night Nation, Night Watch. Lay y'all motherfuckers, man. Peep the Patreon for the full album review. We starting, we, 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 we doing it in order over there. But you know, gotta handle this too.